and I'm Bhavanasa Pakhtin. Close your eyes and watch your breath. Be sensitive to how the breath feels as it comes in and as it goes out. And if the mind is going to talk to itself, talk to itself about the breath, about keeping the mind with the breath. What to do to make the breath more comfortable, where to focus. If it's not in the mood to meditate, you may have to give it a little encouragement to want to meditate, reminding yourself that this is a good activity and that it shouldn't depend on your moods. If you wait until the mood is good, then you only get to meditate a few times, and your moods take over. So even when you're in a bad mood, you can sit down and meditate and step outside of that bad mood for a minute. And just remind yourself, the mind needs to be trained. If it's going to find happiness, if you're looking outside in the world outside for your happiness, you're looking in the wrong place. You've got to turn around and look inside. Right here. This is where all the important things are happening. You look on the internet and it tells us everything else everywhere else, but it doesn't tell you what's going on inside you. For that, you have to look for yourself. There's no search engine. You have to do the searching yourself. And if you're patient enough, the mood will calm down, and then you'll be ready to do your real work. So that a lot of it has to do with learning how to talk to yourself. This is why right speech is such an important part of the practice. You get used to saying good things outside, and then you can turn around and use the good things inside as well. And the more you talk to yourself skillfully inside, then the easier it will be to speak skillfully outside. The two qualities go together. The important thing is that what you tell yourself is true, so that what you say to other people is true. But even if something is true, that's not good enough. Then the next question is, is it beneficial? And is this the right time and the right place? Because you've got to show respect for other people. Even though you say something is true and beneficial for them, is it the right time? And is it the, way, is it the best way to show disrespect for somebody? There's too much of that going on around in the world. It's much better if we show respect. Disrespect is gratuitous harm to yourself. In other words, you may not respect somebody else, but you can just keep that to yourself. You don't have to let them know, because there may come the day when they can actually help you. And if you've been showing disrespect, they'll be disinclined. So remember that showing disrespect is not a sign of your superiority to other people, it's a sign of your own stupidity, that you can harm yourself so easily this way. So learn how to show some respect in the way you talk to other people. Look for the right time, look for the right place. So if you have something that they may not want to hear, but actually would be good for them to hear, they'll be much more inclined to want to listen. So work on right speech outside, work on your right speech inside, and both sides are going to benefit. <laughs>